hi everyone in this tutorial we will continue our development and uh, first of all uh, we will extract our this part of the URL from the source set URL okay so we need to extract till this point okay so this is the actual part uh, which is responsible for displaying images okay so let's start its extraction and here we are printing our source set in the terminal and if you observe this link inside this link so if i so okay so here is my link and inside this link we have the domain name okay and then the photo address and after the photo address we have this question mark okay so uh, i will basically split my this url based on the question mark okay and then i will extract my this first part okay so this will be the logic so let me write here mm, i will split it uh, based on the question mark okay so i will write here dot split split okay and then i need to define my symbol okay and in this case my symbol is this question mark okay and uh, if i save it and uh, if i rerun this thing rerun it and let's enter a keyword maybe trws3 search it again okay it's running and uh, if i open my terminal again okay so we are now getting our information in form of a list okay so this is my list okay as you can see here we have uh, these square brackets here and then these square brackets here okay and this is the list of my one of the url and here as you can see in the first part we are getting the actual link of the image okay and now uh, if i want to print this uh, link uh, i just need to type here uh, for example let's save this uh, list in a list variable okay first list list is equal to this okay and then i will print we are going to print list list and inside this list i will print my element with index zero which is the first element okay so let's save it again and uh, let's rerun it and search a keyword like trws trees trees hit search okay and let's vet and if i come down here yeah now we are extracting the actual url of the images okay so this is my url of first image this is the url of the second image and so on and so forth okay so currently we have one two three four five six seven eight i think eight or nine urls okay and now uh, i will display my images on this uh, streamlit web app as well and now the process is very simple uh, okay so we will pass this value uh, to our uh, streamlit image widget okay so let me remove this line for now okay and uh, let's write here uh, st dot img image okay and uh, then i need to pass my list list and zero okay and let me remove this thing and here uh, what i'm thinking uh, that uh, i need to split my this whole window into two columns okay and then i will display my images on those columns okay so let's create here two columns okay so i will create my columns here okay so uh, not here i think about this thing okay and i will say c o l u m n s or not maybe c o l call one then c o l call two is equals to st dot c o l u m n s columns and then i need to split my this whole window into two columns so just by c o two okay and here uh, i instead of writing here st dot image okay uh, i will say c o l call one dot but uh, i will check that uh, if my i okay so i double equals to zero okay which is the first iteration and i will display my image on my first column okay else i will display my image on the second column okay so else you i'll call two dot i image image okay and then i'll ist list then zero okay let's save it okay and uh, let's rerun it and see what we will get okay so let's write here trws trees okay search it and let's wait 
and yeah we got our required output but uh, currently as you can see it is inside our this form okay so uh, we are is our form okay so here we have our form and in order to solve this so kind of a problem uh, we just need to move this uh, if search out of this width okay so let's move it out okay and uh, let's move this part out as well okay so i think it's shift back tab okay and uh, then i need to okay so i think uh, everything uh, else will work fine okay so let's save it again uh, let's rerun it okay and just search like uh, trws trees okay hit search yeah now we are getting our required output so as you can see uh, this is my image one okay this is my column one this is my column two image one these are all other images okay so as you can see we are actually getting our required output and i hope that uh, you have uh, enjoyed till that point and now let's search for an other keyword uh, like uh, let's type here P L A N T S plants as well let's search it running okay so we are not getting our plants images we are still getting our trees images so how to solve this problem so the solution is very very simple first of all uh, we need to create an empty widget or an empty placeholder here okay and then we need to divide that placeholder into two columns okay and that will actually solve our problem okay so let's create here a placeholder okay so here i will say plse plus h o l d r placeholder sorry p l s c e plus holder is equals to st dot e m p t y so we need to create an empty widget of this plus plus holder first okay and then uh, i will say plus holder dot columns okay so i will write here p l s e plus holder dot columns okay and let's save it and uh, let's rerun it again and just enter your keyword okay maybe trws trees okay let's search it okay so these are all my trees okay and now let's uh, search for another keyword maybe pln just plants again let's search it okay so we are still not getting our required output okay so we just need to move this line just cut it and uh, we just need to paste this line here okay just paste it here okay let's save it and uh, now i hope that uh, everything will work fine okay so just search for trws trees okay search and okay so we are getting our trees images let's search for pla nts plants okay search and yeah these are my plants images okay so now we are getting our required output okay so first of all you need to create an empty placeholder okay and then after sending the request to the uh, to the targeted url you need to then create two columns of that empty placeholder and then you need to do all other stuff okay so i hope that uh, you have understood this logic and i hope that you have understood how to split the url into smaller url okay and in the next tutorial uh, we will actually uh, display uh, buttons or download buttons here and whenever user clicks on that uh, button we need to redirect the user to the download page of the unsplash website of that image okay and uh, we will do that process in the next tutorial and i will see you in that tutorial till that point bye bye